not on any of these. What would you do in an Ironman if you had a flat tire? Great question. I'm retired professional triathlete TJ Tollickson, CEO of Diamond Bikes, and today we're gonna take a look inside my spare totes box. So not every bike has one of these. Sometimes you gotta put a bag on the back of your saddle on here, or something like that. But we're gonna take a look at what's in my totes box, a storage box on my Diamond Bike, otherwise known as a flat kit. What's in my flat kit for a race in case I get a flat tire? Well, we're gonna start with Choices for tires. So uh, to prevent getting a flat, you have a couple options. You can either run tubeless tires or you can run a tube. If you're running a tube, you should probably be running either a Tubalito style or a latex tube. A butyl tube is great for a spare, but it's not so great for rolling resistance, so I don't recommend it. That's a no. If you go tubeless, your chances of getting a flat have been minimized dramatically. And let me explain why. If you're running tubeless, you have a latex sealant inside your tire that if you puncture, will fill with latex, clog the leak, and you'll keep riding like nothing happened. If you're running a tubeless and you do flat, you can put a spare inner tube in the tube, pump it up, and ride like normal. No big deal. If it's a big enough hole, you may need a boot. What's a boot, you ask? Well, a boot is anything that stops the tube from protruding through a large hole in the tire. You can use a dollar bill, a gel wrapper, a leaf, all sorts of things that you can put inside the tire to make sure that the tube does not poke through. So, now that we have that settled, let's take a look inside my totes box. This is really cool. The Diamond Marquee, Mogul, and Trillion all have this box down here. We're gonna take everything out of here and see what I have jammed in here for writing. Ugh. We're gonna pull this out. We got a nice snug fit in there. Pull everything out and take a look at it. All right, so the first thing in there, oh, dropping pieces. Pull yourself together. All right, first thing in there, a set of tire levers. I like these flat tire levers. Uh, I'm gonna set the rest of this stuff in the arm pads there. I like these flat tire levers, there's good. Do you really need three? No, they're sold in packs of three. I do recommend taking two. Sometimes one just isn't enough, especially if you've got a really tight tubeless tire on your wheel. It just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Uh, this comes in a three pack. They're very slim and they come with this nifty little holder to keep them nice and tight. And what's really cool is these fit in the totes box sideways against the edge, plenty of extra room. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, so tire levers. Next thing is my multi-tool. We make these little diamond multi-tools. It's got a two millimeter, three, four, five, six, a T20 Torx wrench, and a flat screwdriver, and a Phillips screwdriver. Most of the tools you need, it does not have a two and a half, and it does not have an eight, so uh, it will not get you everywhere you need. It also does not have a chain tool. What a colossal ripoff! It also fits sideways in the totes box, um, stays really hidden. I usually stick that right behind the tire levers, and that's a, a nice place to store that. Uh, next thing that you're going to see here, a CO2 air chuck. Now, this is important that you have one small enough that works with a disc wheel if you're running a disc wheel. Um, otherwise, you just want one that fits comfortably on there. And then we'll get into the next thing. I carry two of these CO2 cartridges. These are both 16 gram CO2 cartridges. Uh, again, you will thread this on here. You would thread it in all the way, back it off slightly. The CO2 comes off. You can empty an entire CO2 cartridge in one of these tires. Um, you don't really have to worry about it popping. It will get to around 100 PSI. So if you're running tubeless, you may be careful, but if it's a 25 millimeter or wider, the 16 grams is still gonna be just about the right amount to fill it to what you need to ride. Um, so two of those, the next thing is a spare tube. And you'll see I carry a Tubalito tube because it's very, very small. It has a long valve, but if my wheels are longer, like these right here, you can see it will not stick out. Uh, then I have a, another special device here, a valve extender, so this would thread on. Okay, so that's a nice long valve now that you can see 
If this tube is in here, it sticks out long enough that I can pump that up. Pump it. And then my last two pieces, I have two different valve wrenches, but this is to remove the valve stem uh, on a removable valve core extender. And so you remove the valve core as well as to remove the extender. Now, this one is made by Zip. I actually really like this tool as well. Um, this valve extender actually uses a three millimeter wrench in the head to get it off. And I'll show you what I mean. Not a lot of people know this, neat little trick. But this valve extender, you can stick a three millimeter wrench in here to twist it off. Wow, cool, huh? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. So that's what's inside my flat kit. It's everything that I need during a race to keep me feeling secure and able to fix a flat on the side of the road. Yes, if I break a chain, I'm pretty out of luck. Um, you can see on this bike right here, this actually isn't my saddle, but it's on here. There is another spare butyl tube under the saddle tucked in really nice. You can hardly see it, um, but it adds that addition. So if you did double flat, you could get back on the road. Um, but the totes box has enough room to fit everything you need. I use this little neoprene headphone case to store everything. Uh, and when I stick everything in there, you kind of just massage it around a little bit to make sure that it's flat enough to fit in the totes box. Um, and again, I couldn't use this if I was using a regular full-size butyl tube, but because I'm using a tubolito, I do have enough room in there for this. Um, so cool little pouch that I use, put my valve extenders, my wrenches inside there. I can put the air chuck in there. I have enough room, you can zip it shut. And then again, you just want to massage it so it's flat. And then you can pop that back in here with uh, your tire levers and your multi-tool. That's everything that you need to race, have a flat tire and keep racing. So there you have it. If you have a flat tire, you can pack it all in your totes box just like that.